Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be about JavaScript logical operators. The last video was about JavaScript comparison operators. This one's going to be about logical operators. And these two go hand in hand to create conditional logic. There are three logical operators in JavaScript. There is AND, which you use with two of those. There's OR, which you use with two pipes. The pipe, by the way, is above the return key on most keyboards. You just hold shift and hit the little backslash button. And there's also the not, which is just the bang, or the exclamation point. First one we're going to talk about is the and. So this is and, and you access it by doing two of those. And what you do with the and is you basically just give it two statements, and it, it will return true if they're both true. It will return false if one or both of them are false. So to give you an example, 3 is greater than 1 is true. And 2 is equal to 2. We know that's true. Because both of those things are true. However, if we do 3 is less than 1 and 2 is equal to 2, it returns false. Because now one of those things is false. And if we do 3 is greater than 1, and 2 is equal to 3, it returns false. So it doesn't matter which one of these things is false. If they're both not true, it will return false. And you can string these together. 3 is greater than 1, and 2 is equal to 2, and... Oops, I put a third one. And 4 is greater than 3, and... 9 is less than or equal to 9. So you can string as many of these together as you want, and it works out just fine. The next one, we're going to clear our console. The next one is the OR operator, which is two pipes. That's the OR. It's the OR operator. And again, two pipes is the, on most keyboards, is right above the return key or the enter key if you're on a PC. And this does just what you would think. If either of the values is true, it will return true. So, for example, 1 is greater than 5, or 7 equals 7. Only one of those is true. The 7 equals 7 is true. The 1 greater than 5 is not true, and yet it still returns true, because one of them is true. If 1 is greater than 5, or 7 is equal to 8, it will now return false. But if we switch this around, one is less than five, it's still true because one of those is true. So that's the or. Then you have the not, and the not is different. You, you don't put it between two things. That's the not, it's just the bang. You don't put it between two things. All it does is it simply reverses, it flips another value. So for example, if I was to do not three is greater than five, it's now true, because 3 greater than 5 returns false, and then the not flips it. In the last video, we talked about truthy values and falsy values, and why you should use the 3 equal signs instead of just the 2 equal signs to compare things. I hinted at whenever you're comparing things to true or false, it can lead to problems. That's because of this concept of truthy and falsy values. Many values that aren't true or false evaluate to true or false the easiest way to find out whether something evaluates to truthy or falsy is to simply do not not, is to flip it. So you're flipping it twice. Not not 10 returns true. So we know the string 10, or any string except for an empty string, will return true. However, if I do not not an empty string, it returns false. There are six, quote, falsy, unquote, values. And I'll show them to you real quick. Not not false obviously returns false. Not, not zero returns false. Empty string we already saw returns false. Null returns false. Undefined returns false. And not a number returns false. Anything else will return true. Any other value, any other data in there will return true. Everything else is truthy. So those are the things that will always return false if you compare them using logical operators. So in this video we talked about the three logical operators. We talked about AND, we talked about OR, we talked about NOT, 
and we talked about how the and and the or go between values, and then we talked about how the not does not go between values. It simply flips a value from true to false or from false to true. Then we talked about the six falsy values, false, zero, empty string, null, undefined, and not a number, and how everything else can evaluate to true if it is compared using Boolean logic. I'm looking forward to the next video where we are going to use both the logical operators and the comparison operators to actually write conditionals. And this is where this stuff generally starts to stick and it starts to make a lot more sense. So if you're a little bit confused and don't understand why we're talking about these things, watch one more video and it'll, I think it'll make a lot more sense. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.